November 29th, The Supremacy of Jesus Christ He will glorify me. John 16, verse 14 The holiness movements of today have none of the rugged reality of the New Testament about them. There is nothing about them that needs the death of Jesus Christ. All that is required is a pious atmosphere, prayer, and devotion. This type of experience is not supernatural, nor miraculous. It did not cost the sufferings of God, nor is it stained with the blood of the Lamb. Revelation 12, verse 11. It is not marked or sealed by the Holy Spirit as being genuine, and it has no visual sign that causes people to exclaim with awe and wonder, That is the work of God Almighty. Yet the New Testament is about the work of God and nothing else. The New Testament example of the Christian experience is that of a personal, passionate devotion to the person of Jesus Christ. Every other kind of so-called Christian experience is detached from the person of Jesus. There is no regeneration, no being born again into the kingdom in which Christ lives and reigns supreme. There is only the idea that he is our pattern. In the New Testament, Jesus Christ is the Savior long before he is the pattern. Today, he is being portrayed as the figurehead of a religion, a mere example. He is that, but he is infinitely more. He is salvation itself. He is the gospel of God. Jesus said, When he, the Spirit of truth, has come, he will glorify me. John 16, verses 13 through 14. When I commit myself to the revealed truth of the New Testament, I receive from God the gift of the Holy Spirit, who then begins interpreting to me what Jesus did. The Spirit of God does in me internally all that Jesus Christ did for me externally.